exploring data. So we're going to look at finding the mean, median, mode, and range, and what these terms mean in terms of uh, data. So here I have a list of values. I have six different data sets. And for the first one, I have listed 8, 10, 14, 17, and 26. The mean is the same as the average. So if you know what the average is or how to find the average, then you should be okay with the mean. So the first thing I do is I add up all the numbers. So I take 8, 10, 14, 17, and 26. I add them all up. I get an answer of 75. And then I count how many numbers there are. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And I divide by the total number of numbers that there are. And I get an answer of 15. The median is also known as the middle value. This only works if the data is organized in terms of least to greatest. So if I can look at this set data set here, 8, 10, 14, yep, okay, it's organized properly. So I would look at the middle value. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 values. That makes it easier. That means I can take the middle value, which would be the third one, which means there's two before and two after. So the median value here in this case is 14 because there's an odd number of, uh, of data. The mode is the one that appears the most. The mode is the one that appears the most. Here I have 8, 10. I have no repeating values, so there is no mode. The range is the max minus the min. The max value minus the minimum value. The range of data. How far does it, does it go from the smallest to the biggest? So in this case, I would take 26 and subtract 8 because 26 is the largest and 8 is the smallest. And I get a value of 18. So the range is 18. It ranges from, from 8 to 26, which is a value of 18. Okay, let's look at the next data set. I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. I have uh, an odd number again, which makes it a little easy to find the mean, or the median, I mean. The mean, again, I add them all up, 12. I get an answer 133. We found that there were seven of them, so I divide by seven to get an answer of 19. The median, again, is the middle value, so I can just count one, two, three, four. That's my middle value, because then I have three before and three after. So that one is kind of simple. The mode in this case, let's check, 12, 14, 18, 19, 20. No repeating values, so I don't have a mode this time either. And then again, the range is just the greatest, the maximum value subtracted the minimum value, which is 16. Okay, I'll go through one more here. So uh, again, check this data. One, two, three, four, five. This time I have an even number of data, which will be good for the, uh, the median. We can figure out how to do that. So first of all, the mean, again, the average, add them all up and divide by how many there are. So you get 96. And we said that there were six sets of data, or six data. So we have one, two, three, four, five, six. Divide by six, I get an answer of 16 for the mean. Now the median value in this case, I'm going to have to take an average of the middle two. So I have one, two. These two are in the middle, the 13 and the 15. Because I have two before and two after. The middle value would lie in between them somewhere. And in order to find it, I just take an average of those two. So I take 13, I add on the 15, I divide by 2. So the middle value in between 13 and 15, you could have probably guessed that anyways, would be 14. So my median value is 14. Again, I look for the mode, the number that, uh, a number that repeats itself a number of times. This one does not have a mode. No mode. And the range, 26 minus 10, is 16. Let's look at one that would have a mode, this one here. It actually has two modes, three and six. So I would list those, three and six, both of them together. Okay, And again, we know how to find the mean and the median. Um, let's just check here. Let's actually do this one here. 
we can do this one simply just because it has it has an even number again. So I have three plus three is six, plus four is ten, plus six plus six, which would be twelve, uh, plus fourteen, which is thirty-six. I divide by how many there are, which there's one, two, three, four, five, six. I get an answer of six for my mean. My median is the middle value, one, two, three, four, five, six. So it's going to have to be these two here because I get two before and two after. Four plus six is 10 divided by two is five. And the range in this case, 14 minus three is 11. It changes slightly if the data is not organized in terms of least to greatest. It makes it difficult to find the median, primarily the median. The range is still not too bad to find because we can kind of just look to see what the greatest one is and what the smallest one is. Um, so to find the median, you have to have the data arranged in least to greatest. So that's probably what I would do first. You would have to take each one of these values um, and because the names are kind of insignificant when you're looking at just the data, it doesn't really matter who did what, we can reorganize this data in terms of least to greatest as they are. So I would put 72 first because that's the smallest. Then what comes next would be 75. So I've used 72, I've used 75. Next would be 77. The next uh, value up would be 82. Then 84, oh, I missed 79. Then 82. 84. 85. 96. And finally, whoops, 98. So I'll only go through one of these. So there I have my data uh, organized from least to greatest, which makes it somewhat easy to find the median. The mean, again, is just the average, so we add them all up. And these would be marks... Uh, in a class, right? So I add them all up. I divide by how many there are. One, two, three, four, five, eight, nine. Divide by nine. I get an answer of 83. Point one one as the average, the class average. The median value is the middle value. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. So I should be able to find the middle value pretty easily. One, two, three, four. And then this one will be my middle value here, 82, because then I get one, two, three, four after. So 82 is my median. Mode, I don't think I have one because I don't have any repeating values, none. And the range, again, you would just take the largest, which is 98. And I would subtract off my smallest, which is 72. And I get 26. That would be 8%. Okay, so that's a brief overview of how to find mean, median, mode, and range.